Hey guys, this is Eric from Final Cut Studio School, and this is the first part of a two-part video on keying. Now, I'm going to be going over more keying videos in the future, but I wanted to show you a specialized keying method where you use two keyers. I'm not just going to use the key light or the prime at, I'm going to use them both in conjunction with one another. So I have this footage here, let me load my footage into my viewer. Now this is a 16-bit 1K Cineon file. And in layman's terms, in layman's terms, we're talking feature film type of um, um, f film, um, for lack of a better word. This is not your typical handy cam. This is a Cineon file that I'm going to have to use a log the lin node to uh, switch it, and because it will key better if I do that. And I can explain log the lin and Cineon and all that in future tutorials. I'm basically concentrating on the keying method that I'm going to show you here. So first, let me just go into my color tab and add a log lin. That'll bring it in to darker our colors, but we can go down here to our gammas, our N and D gamma, and I'm going to set them to one to bring us back in play here. Now we have this play, but as you can look real close, we have a lot of blue spill. You can see, and we're going to try and take care of this in our two videos. But first, let's get our keying method down. So the first keyer I'm going to add is going to be a prime at. I'm going to go in and click my prime at. Now, when I add my prime at node, it's automatically ready for selection. You can see it's got a yellow box. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to swap the blue or whatever I want to key out. Then I can go hit my A key, and this will show me my alpha. Now, I can go into my fine tuning controls here. I'm going to select foreground. And I'm going to start swapping on everything that I want to be in the foreground. I'm going to clean it up the best I can. I'm not going to make it too much. This is just a rough mat that we're going to clean up in our second part. Swap as many times as you need. If, if for some reason your operation, you swap and it messes everything up, just go down here to delete op. And it will just, don't use regular undo. Now I'm going to click my background. I'm going to select my window here, background. I'm going to even try to swap this window back here. And see that messes everything up. So I can go delete op and it goes back to where we was. You can see here I have three operations under my foreground. Okay, so now we have this rough mat of things. Don't worry about this window and stuff. We're going to take care of all this. Go back to my node view. Go back to my color by hitting the C key. Now we have this prime mat. Um, and we need to do a little bit more work. So now I'm going to take my background and I'm going to add a key mix. A little layer, add key mix. I'm going to bring my key mix down. I'm going to plug my prime at into the back of it, the last input, like that right there. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to my log lin, select my log lin node, go to my key tab, and I'm going to shift click key light. And this will branch a key light off of my log lin node. Now you see I have a prime at and a key light. And you can see the key light does a pretty good job. Um, this is what I'm going to help you get rid of my spill. And I'm going to take my key light, I'm going to bring it into my middle node. Let me look at my final composite. And there we go. We have us a final composite, except we have some stuff up here in the corner. And this back window needs to be took care of. And we're going to do all this in part two. I just wanted to basically show you the key, the simple keying method that um, I use a lot of times with two keyers when I need to uh, use it for despill. This is a good despill method. So as you can see, if I go in here and, and delete my key light, you can see right here, look at all this blue spill from just the prime at node. Let's see. But now when I enable my key lock, that gets rid of all that blue spill. But there are still some blue spill in there. I'm not sure if you can tell it over YouTube, but we're going to fix all this. We're going to clean this back rear window up, and we're going to fix the blue up here. This was just basically getting you the method down for using two keyers. I'm going to go into my log lin. Actually, I'm going to go into my filter. I'm going to blur. And I'm going to hold the N key and bring it in between my log lin and my prime at and when you hold the N key it will let you insert it and I'm going to bring the blur up a little bit just just to make it you know a little more I guess appealing to the eye I guess you could say and maybe a little bit more blur than that let me go in here and like that now that's looking that's looking pretty pretty decent for a rough beginning key. So I hope you guys come back for part two, and we will finish cleaning up this scene. 
have a good look at my tree here. This is how I've went about using two keys to key out my scene. If you all have any questions, please get a hold of me. If not, we'll see you in part two. Later, guys.